Hey there, I'm Melissa, and I'm the Game Master behind Darkness and Dragons. If this is your first time with us, welcome. I'm interrupting myself to give you a little bit of context. Our story underwent a lot of upgrades throughout Season 1 as we learned more about streaming, editing, and playing together. We also expanded our cast from 3 to 5, with some regular guest appearances from old friends and our fans. So, if you're trying to get a sense of if this show is for you, I'm going to recommend you skip ahead to Season 2, Episode 2. It's only a dream, isn't it? While we love some of the early stories we told, Season 2 shows a marked improvement in audio, video, and production quality. So, if you want to start here, consider yourself warned. Thanks again for tuning in, and we hope you join us on Twitch for one of our future live episodes or for our after show, where we talk about plot developments, safe and vulnerable play, and who we are outside the game. Thanks again, and enjoy the show! So, we start our game in uh, the capital city of Karaket. Karaket is um, mostly a forested area, but it's got these little towns kind of all spread out around uh, the neighboring villages. Um, and Karakut City, which is at the heart of the entire empire, is ruled by um, the empire empress and em emperor. Is the guy person? Uh, the empress uh, has uh, done a lot of expansion in her time. She's very much about finding new places and making them her own. And this is the world that we are stepping into, um, a world that Ryan and Penny and Ellie have lived in their whole lives. <clears throat> In Karakut City, there is inequality throughout the streets. Um, many people are captured as part of um, whenever a new area is conquered. People with skills are taken and used for various purposes. The more rich you are, the probably more people and things and animals from those areas that you own. And we join our heroes during an event called the Menagerie. The Menagerie is a festival that happens over the course of three days in the capital city and it's an event where all of the rich and powerful show off all of the things that are theirs so as we see through the streets we see people tied up chained we see animals being led around children riding on rare fey creatures as if they're normal pets um and everything is very debauched. There's lots of drinking, there's lots of dancing, um, and there's a lot of pain from the people who are experiencing this. Through different areas of the city, we start to see a few people who draw our attention. Um, one of them is... Brian, do you want to describe yourself? Ryan, Ryan, yeah, uh, like physical, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so I've done my, I've done my best, but um, so she is an Azamar, so she has that kind of metallic, kind of silvery colored hair and really kind of green jewel toned eye kind of skin. Um, though she has no wings, which will come later. Um. She is a, I'd say a dancer for fun. Um, gosh, this is hard to do sometimes without, without spoilers. <laughs> um, What's she wearing today? So she's kind of tall and slim and graceful. Um, probably just whatever. Well, again, mm. <laughs> um, probably something not overly nice. Probably something kind of street. Yep, yep. Definitely. Slave. I mean, not, I mean, she doesn't have money. She doesn't have clothing. So, <laughs> um, um, but she has um, dance shoes, red kay. dance shoes. She's also wearing some kind of necklace, like a point shoe, isn't she? Yes. Um, as do, do I go into all this? Am I gonna start spoiling things? <laughs> I'm just gonna say she just has. Say say, factually, I'm sorry, I had a maid. She has a. Oh, okay. All right. She has a gold, um, a thick gold collar on, um, that has a kind of like a round hook on the front. Beautiful. Um. So we see Ryan. End the story. 
eyeing um, a man who's dressed fairly scrub, cr scruffy. Um, he's got his hood up and he's moving through the streets kind of along the edge. He seems to be trying to like not draw attention to himself, but in that way that somebody um, sitting in the corner of a bar wearing a cloak always draws attention to themselves. Um, now that Ellie is back, you know that the reason you are all out here is you were sent by Atlas, who is the crown prince, to find these bandits, uh, and they've stolen something from him, and he would like it back. Um, so you get the sense that Ryan is is watching one of these people. So Ryan, let's. How are you going to try not to get caught? Um, I am very stealthy. <laughs> Great. Let's see if you're incredibly stealthy, stealthy to avoid being noticed. Let's, let's hope them, so. Let's get them clicking. Um. Class, yeah. Okay. So stealth. Nineteen. Beautiful. Um, you do pretty well. So, uh, the man is clearly kind of looking for guards, it seems like. Like, he's keeping his eyes on kind of the people who are formally in charge. He doesn't seem to be expecting some person just wandering the streets to be his problem. So you manage to blend in pretty well. Um, and you look like you're there to party. Like, you look like you're a reveler. So that works out well for you. You manage to grab the attention of one of your allies, Penny, who is standing a little ways away from you to show that you found one of these people you're looking for. Penny, what do you look like? Penny? Penny. So Penny is a halfling. Um, hi, yes. Penny is a halfling. She's stout, uh, pleasantly plump, would be a really good way to identify Penny. Uh, wearing very, dressed in purple, but probably compensating for a lot of the flesh that she's seen right now. So like lots of layers, very poofy dress, um, got her hair in pigtails, uh, bow ties up the nines, one in her hair, one on her neck. Um, and I think she was just kind of like off in a daze a little bit watching some of the um, items and things on display. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of really cool magic items here. Like people are showing off, people are, um, you know, um, throwing fire and things like that. So there's a lot to draw someone like Penny's attention to how things work. But you see, I Brian feel like is... every once in a while, whenever you mean distract, <laughs> every once in a while, I'm like, Ooh. Penny's that person who just, like, goes to an amusement oh, oh, park hi, hi, and just, like follows the lights until she gets lost. Okay, no. Penny, uh, Ryan looks over at you with a, like, come on, like, look at this guy. Wait. Oh. Penny, you, you think you see somebody kind of watching him, like, someone who's, like, looking for him, and they seem to be kind of, like, catching each other's eye in the distance. Um... What are you going to try to do? I'm going to go to Ryan. Um, okay, this is kind of outside my expertise. What, 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 do you want me to like go over and see if I can hear what they're saying? What, what do you want me to do? I can do that, can't I? I can do that. Can't I? I have that thing, right? What thing? You have what do you I have got? Ten seconds. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My my, my in character has a British accent. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> um, okay. I have the over here thing, don't I? Yep. Yeah. The over here. Can thing. I use that? Well, they're not really close enough. Now. Where I can overhear conversations. So you're like ten seconds or something like that. Yeah, yeah. They're not really not close yet. enough yet. Um, they're probably okay. about sixty feet apart. Um, the one guy looks like he's kind of like standing by an alley, like he's gonna kind of escort this person somewhere. Um, so they haven't really even seen each other yet. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Stay behind me. Stay behind okay. me. Stay quiet. Act normal. Or no, more normal, less stiff, more casual, less defined. It's fine. Stand behind me. 
Okay, be quiet, right? Pretend you're looking at the bits as we go, okay? We're just shopping, just two girls shopping, right? Right. So, so Penny, I'm gonna try and like block her. So. What's, your, what's your read on that? Is this some kind of performance? Are you trying to deceive them? What is this? Um, I think, I think, yeah, I think this will be a performance for Penny to act normal and pretend that she is just shopping, just out on the town, enjoying herself. Thing Penny does every week. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this is just normal penny. Oh no! <laughs> that, that guy. A four total. Okay. This is specifically why I said that she is behind me. A total of four. Okay. You can't roll a zero. I didn't roll a zero. <laughs> two plus two. <laughs> two plus two is four. Um, don't worry, that'll be fine. Um, this is specifically why I kept her. In between the person and me. <laughs> no. Um, I'm in between. If you have blocking. Somebody, if you have somebody like mimicking you at all times, like doing like a like you know, you're gonna get notice. <laughs> um so the guy by the door kinda looks at the two of you and like clearly doesn't quite understand what's happening, but there's enough weirdness going on that he like gestures for the other guy, he kinda nods his head and heads into the alley. Um, and the other guy slips inside. Ellie, you watch these two men disappear down the alley from across the area. And you can see Penny's good attempt um, at being normal. Um, that has seemed to tip them off. I'm doing so good, you guys. Okay. Are they, are they heading towards her? Nope, they're heading down the um down the um alleyway. So they stole something from the castle and they're clearly trying to get away before you guys can get to them. Okay. Um how wait, how far am I away from them? You're a little closer. You're maybe forty feet from the guys who went down the alley. Probably about the same from Ryan and Penny. Okay. Are we coming from opposite directions? Yeah. You guys kind of spread out through the market to try to catch this person's right. eye, and you're sort of all converging on this alley now that you know where you're going. Okay. What's Ellie look um, like? I... First off. Oh. First off. So, Ellie is about 5'5". Five five. Uh, she's pretty muscular for her size. Um, kind of tan skin. Um, hair that goes from dark, dirty blonde to blue at the tips, um, covered in, like, hide armor from of various types, and her wings are that of a tiger moth. And she is also carrying a very large axe <laughs> strapped to her back, and as soon as she sees those guys... She's just going to kind of pick up the pace a little bit and do kind of one of those, like, to the group. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Um, there's a crowd of people around you. Um, are you going to try to, like, intimidate them out of the way? Are you going to try to... I don't know. I'm, um... So, she's pretty much like a... Like, like if you saw like a like a Chihuahua that thought it was like a Great Dane, that's her. Mm -hmm. So she's just gonna be like, "Excuse me, excuse me," and she's just gonna elbow through everyone in the in the crowd. Uh, your <laughs> um, your axe also helps with that, you know. So um, yeah, give me a roll for it. Okay, what am I roll? Uh, like a strength or something? Let's or do, what am I do doing? Intimidation. You're like out of my way. I'm going where I want to go. Super. That's a 15. Good, 15. Uh, yeah, you kind of just announce where you're going. Uh, and you've kind of, like, between the three of you, people are now looking uh, at you three. But you disappear down the alley after these guys. And, uh, you know, people are going to go back to their thing. So it's not the end of the world. Um, 
as you all turn the corner in the alley, you see four um, bandits standing before you. Two, or sorry, three of them have uh, swords and one of them has a crossbow. And they're all standing there waiting for you. I would like to immediately cast mage armor. <laughs> Classic on wizard. Myself. Okay. <laughs> Let's roll for initiative, friends. Let's get some good clicky clacks. I only need one I dice, can't. but I like the sound, so I roll oh, a yeah. bunch, and then I just look at the 20. Oh, <laughs> you guys are fucked. I mean, <laughs> you guys are going to have a really great oh, time, a really fun adventure. I don't know. Because you're heroes. <laughs> it's going to be great. Nine? <laughs> What'd Ellie get? Uh, 15. Okay. 15! Penny? 19. Uh, I got a 23. Oh! <gasps> Penny goes first, nice. followed by the bandits, then Ryan and Ellie. Um, okay. So, Penny, you want okay. new mage armor. Okay, okay, okay. Would that have taken my turn? Because I thought I would have done that before. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, actually, if you guys, if you saw them going down the alley, that makes sense. You probably cast it when you were walking. So let's say you already have it. And then you're like, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. Uh, they are all close enough together. They look really round. mean. Right. Okay. 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 Um, I'm going to turn to one. And I'm going to point out my finger, and I'm going to say, freeze, mister, and cast chill touch. Freeze, mister. Freeze. Go penny good cop. <laughs> freeze, mister. Freeze, bad guy. Please. That's please. what I do. All right. I do have to say please. All right. Come it, come it, bad guy. part of the guy. spell. I built it in. Come <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, uh, 17 to hit against their AC. Yep. It's one one target, so closest one to me. Beautiful. All right. They will take one necrotic damage. One. <laughs> oh, we're going to be here a while. Trying to do, it's a warning shot. Okay. It's a warning shot. A warning Freeze, shot. <laughs> and then I will, I, will, I will step back. A little bit and hide behind one of my friends. That's an excellent idea because Penny has how many hit points? Oh no! I only have eight. Level so one, guys. Level one, friends. Catch, catch. Comment us favorite. on this. Who said, who said a wizard? Honestly, they couldn't add herself. They had nobody else to consent. I'm not telling these people to run their country. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, you're all idiots. Who sends us? We're useful. We are not useful in this. They're just time. trying to kill us. That's basically it. They're <laughs> just like, yeah, useful. you're fine. We're like, hopefully they won't come back. <laughs> it's like, um, they're gonna die. Beautiful. All right, they're gonna come at you <laughs> guys now. Um, first one's coming at Penny. Penny, does an 18 no! hit? Yeah. Yep. Oh, pen pen. Three damage. Yep. Second one's coming at Ryan. <gasps> you 21. <laughs> no, that does not hit. <laughs> Four damage. <laughs> oh my god. You're fucking bloodied. You're squishy. <laughs> oh, that's not a thing anymore, is it? That's not a thing. Is it? Last one comes no, out. Or no, sorry. Last oh. one with a blade Ooh. comes out. Ellie. Ellie, you got lucky. 12. No big deal, huh? Uh, excuse me. 13. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, <laughs> two of them slash at Penny and Ryan, who try to hop back out of the way, but do get a pretty severe cut. Uh, in the way that all of us would if we were randomly attacked by someone on the street. Ellie, however, has a giant axe and, you know, manages to get away. The person at the back with the crossbow is stepping further away. It seems like they're not 
keen to attack at the moment. Um, one of the things that uh, Atlas said was, if you can take somebody alive um, so they can find out what happened and who stole this thing, that might be helpful. So he might be a good candidate for that. All right, over to Ryan. Let's just play. Okay. <laughs> right. Um, I'm gonna let I'm gonna take Penny and I'm gonna put Penny behind Ellie. <laughs> like just pick. Thank you. Put her down. <laughs> like, stay that. Stay that. Right. And I'm gonna try and okay. How far is the guy with the crossbow? They're all within like fighting range. You can get to any of them. Okay. Can I try and? I'm not going to say jump, because that's not the right word. But can I try and, like, dodge through them and, like, block him from the other side? Sure, you want to try to, like, Acrobatically. Acrobatically. Sure. Sure. Use them acrobats. Um, Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I mean, if there's something I can, like, grab and, like, swing and, like, I don't know. I don't know what Lizali looks like. Something fancy. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's say there's like um like in those alleys you see in TV shows, there's like those stairs that are stuck to the side of the building that you can like climb up and like you can grab one and swing across and do a flip and Yeah. Like a badass. Yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, Perfect. like a badass. Let's yeah. see if you and can then I wanna have do like that. my rapier out, right? Yeah. On guard. <laughs> can I do that? That would be great. 14? Yeah. Yeah. You land with grace. Like, like superhero pose, like, like one, uh, like almost on one knee and the other leg kind of kicked out like a badass. You look up at him and he's kind of like, Ooh. Oh, yes. Stand up to full no height. <laughs> cool. That's end of my turn, isn't it? Wait, was let's, that just you moving? Let's just let's just have you. Because he's talking about Irina, actually. Yeah, let's just act. Just to smash him. Yeah. Smash a baby. Yeah. Yeah. Smash Give him the old pointy part. Can I right? What part of what's the part of the leg that you cut so that they can't run away? Jesus. Yeah, there's like a muscle so, or like look, a tendon that goes on the back look. of the leg. I know what I'm in. I know what I got into. It's, it's your Achilles tendon. Yeah. Okay. All right. Don't act surprised. All right. So you're going for the Achilles tendon of the <laughs> No, it's not going to kill him. But he... guy. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, and only, yeah. Because, again, if, if someone wants someone alive and I want to do a good job, because I'm an ass kisser. So... Yeah, I'm gonna bring someone back. It's too early. It's too early in the game. (laughs) It's too early. That comes later. (laughs) This is 20 minutes into episode one. I don't make the rules. (laughs) Sorry. No, no, I know. Um, Yeah, so I'm not not trying to kill him or have him bleed out on the pavement, but I just want to stop him. You're good. Smash his Achilles tendon. All right, that's a natural twenty. Beautiful. Oh my god! Cuts oh. off the foot. Yeah, how many? How many no, tendons I cut? I made sure that I that it was a measured. What? How many tendons <laughs> do you do you cut? I feel like one would probably be enough that how he much, wouldn't be able to damage, get away. How right? How much damage do you do? Is my question. <laughs> oh, I do. Do I, I get sneak attack too? Right? Don't I? Um, you yeah. get what advantage? Roll. Which no, it's it six. Oh yeah. right, yes. Well, do I? Do I? Do I? Yeah, go for it. Do I? Go it. I mean, I'd rather go overboard than underboard, game. right? Because yeah, because we've done so much damage to them so far with my one damage. So that's six damage. Beautiful. Uh, he lets out a scream and drops to one leg. Ellie! Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pat, pat him on the head. Stay. <laughs> My turn? Stay. Yep. 
<laughs> I just like pull out the great axe and I just look at the closest one and I'm like, you and just <laughs> run full speed at him and just try to cleave him in two. Mm -hmm. Or three. How about four? I'm just kidding. Just two is fine. Two is fine. Smash him good. Okay. Do it up. Ooh. 14? Yeah, that hits. Oh, they're, fuck yeah. I mean, they're, they're just bandits. Like, they're not rich. That'll be 11 points of damage. Jesus. From my great axe. All right. Uh, anyone in particular you're aiming at? Did you just cut him in two? Um, the biggest, closest guy, I guess. The biggest, closest guy. The closest or the biggest are different guys. Then the closest one, probably. Okay, it's the same one that Penny attacked? Her priorities aren't Yes. Okay. Uh, so the one that attacked Penny, you don't take too kindly to that in these parts. Uh, you walk up to him, you swing your axe. It's uh, a little cramped in this alley, but you make it work. Uh, and it, your axe slices into his neck and like just like like lodges partway through. And as he falls, your axe comes free. Oh, he stuck. is dead. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, shit. Shit. Stuck. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of blood you try spray. to pull it out <laughs> that clavicle man it's all meaty <laughs> all right back over to penny uh so the one that's in front of me is still alive right he's still kicking uh no he's dead that's the one ellie smashed to pieces oh he's dead yeah he's dead now okay but there's more guys um, he dead? Uh, there's there's the two guys who haven't oh, been hit good. yet with swords, um, and then there's crossbow guy who's crying on the ground with his tendon cut. Okay. Oh. Um, Blast. Hmm. <laughs> um, two guys with swords. How far away are they? They're both within moving distance of you. We'll say they're 15 feet uh, from you and maybe 10 feet apart. 15 Okay, 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 okay. Um, <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to, I mean, it's tried and true. I think I might just go for another chill touch. Yeah? Yeah. In the name of the, in the I think name I'm going to go for another chill you? touch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say, re see what happened to this guy? If you don't <laughs> stop, that's going to happen to you too. So freeze, and I'm going to do another chill touch. Please. Excellent intimidation. Please, honey. please. Excellent and intimidation. <laughs> right, right. Uh, that's 15. How many? 15? Oh, yes, yes. I thought you said, I thought that was your damage for a minute, and I was like. Ah. I wish. That's not right. Well, only level one. That's not Hit right. Penny. Okay, 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 I'm getting better. Penny's I'm getting better, that's a five. That sounds like some five, warlock good. shit to me. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like some warlock bullshit. Five, beautiful. Uh, <laughs> you, um, like, your uh, ice touch kind of shoots, like, through his chest right here, and you see, like, a scorching line of ice um, that, like, sort of, like, freezes Ooh. the flesh, but it kind of gives, like, this really disgusting, like, um... Like, you know when you have frostbite? <laughs> He's got, like, a thing of frostbite. Yes. Through his, yes, I do. Straight yes, through no. his, yeah. Yeah. It's not great. He's not no. feeling good. No. Uh, he lets out a scream. And he, let, he stumbles back a little bit. I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry. He's not happy. He's coming for you, Penny. Uh, no! Yeah. Seven. That does not hit. Lucky. Save, armor. Save uh, me. Other one's coming Yay. for Ellie. Other fine guy decides he wants to die. Um, 14. That hits. <gasps> oh, All no. right. He does. 
five damage to our dear friend Ellie. Ooh. Oh, no. It's okay. I still have ten. He's you he, hit be angry, Ellie. He's uh he's cut you kind of down your arm. <laughs> you like a slice down your your arm. It's bleeding a lot, but you know you're a badass. So, um, Ryan, <laughs> is it? He does not. Didn't try, notice. He does not try to attack you. Um, he looks up at you. His eyes are all watery. Um, and he says, "Please, please don't kill me." Please. He's like grabbing onto his like leg, trying to hold in the blood. Um. Wait there. I got people to kill. Like, all right, I don't have time. Well, right. you Sorry, tell you tell him. Well, you're like, we're gonna come. Do you see what's? Well, where you go later? <laughs> so, like, stop whining. Feather. Um, right. Okay. Not you the leave, time. You leave floor guy where Feather. he is. Um, are you gonna go attack the one that um, Penny attacked? No, I'm gonna go for the other one. The other one that hasn't. There's one that hasn't been hit yet, right? Yep. Yeah, that yep. one. Yep, cool. He is the one who did a big slash down Ellie's arm. <sighs> no one makes my friends bleed their own blood. <laughs> oh. <sighs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna stab him. I'm gonna I should give you guys like a like a plus one bonus. Him. As is my custom. A, like, think of a good like joke to do as I'm you stab. No. <laughs> I'm gonna make you bleed your own blood, bitch. Bitch. <laughs> no one makes my friends bleed their own blood. I'm just gonna bleed your own blood. No. Bleed it. <laughs> That's yeah. not how you use the baby. <laughs> Cut him up, Ryan. <laughs> yeah. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, that hits. <sighs> that's close. Cause that's my AC. Oh, that's right. Too. I know. I'm trying to think. I'm like, if it hits me, hopefully it'll hit him. Okay, cool. Right. <laughs> um, and I am still. Um, I don't remember what the thing. It's it's is it flanking, flanking. Is that yeah. what gives you the sneak attack? Whatever. I still get sneak attack, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Is my point. Yeah? Yep. Ellie's got so your sneak back. Attack damage on top of that. Get it, girl. 11 damage. 11 is exactly how many hit points you ha he has. Uh, you do a little oh. flourish. You stand on your, your pointy toes. You, you <sighs> lift one leg out like you're going to kick him. He looks like he's going to try to dodge. And when he does, you slice him across the throat with the rapier it's very clean I, exactly as much force and damage as you needed to kill it uh as contrasted by the guy who ellie slice killed dice. your person just like gasps and like the blood kind of trickles down their chest and they just crumble <laughs> that's why you call her overkill ellie um good job you are only down to <laughs> very kill ellie. You have two bandits left. One of them is on the ground begging for help, and the other is uh, still pretty peeved. Ellie. Sorry, wait. How many are there left? There's two. There's The, the one, one is Laura... incapacitated. Yeah. He's the one we're going to keep alive. All yeah. right. There's ten um, away, and there's the, one the other one. The one that... <laughs> the other one that's fucking with Penny. I'm just going to, like, turn and just, like... And just... Just, just come through and try to like take just his like, head clean off. Just like chopping rats. Let's see what you can do. Yeah. You're just chopping rats, man. I'm like you don't fuck with my friends. Oh, nine, nineteen plus four, twenty-three. Yeah. Twenty-three. You got him. Let's see if we can kill him. To hit. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I want to cut my damage. Is so good. Wait. Oh, wait. That is overkill. <laughs> There's like blood spatter on me. Like, 10, 10, 10. Penny, you, you, so happy. Happy. you do kill him. You chop his head off. It rolls down the alley towards Penny and it lands at Penny's feet, looking up like. 
Penny, what do you do? It's your turn. Just like cool. Cool. I got you something, Penny. Thank <laughs> you. I'll add it to my collection. Oh, this is so nice. Um, there's one person left. Yes, it's the person he, on the ground. He's the one with the tendon cut. Did I did I hear him beg for his life? Yes. <gasps> he, he's still doing it. My like, he's still he's still asking like you all like okay. please please no please don't he's like trying to hold his blood in he's crying he's got those big sloppy tears he's like one, one big snot oh, he's, he's scared you murdered everyone he knew the bubble snot mm -hmm. he's got a bubble oh, he's snot fine. um we did first. Well, we did need to bring somebody back alive, right? Mm -hmm. That one. Why well, didn't oh. that one? Uh, as you guys, so, as you guys turn on the man, he says, good. "Please, please don't take me back to the castle. Please don't." Well, we, we kind of need to. Um, please, please, I'll, I'll. And we need whatever it is you took. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Please, just if you, if you take me there, I won't make it out alive. You know I won't. I won't. I, I made it out of mine. I just, I just, I just look at him and I say, Penny, no. <laughs> what makes what did you take? Castle. It's, it's here. Yeah. It's here. Um, he uh, lifts out a small box. It's yay big. Uh, it's made of metal, and uh, he. Actually, no, it's made of wood. It's a wooden box. Uh, and he offers it to you with shaky, bloody hands. Okay. What's uh, in the box? Yeah, what's, what's in the box? What's in the box? Does it matter? It's not locked. You could open it. Can I open it? Yeah. No, I'm opening. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe, maybe we should make sure it's not like trapped or magicified or anything. Magicified? Yeah. Yeah, Ryan, aren't you the one who's supposed to be able to tell if it's got like the magic giblets on it and stuff, make it go and not blur on our faces? Magic giblet? What on earth is that? You know, I, I think I think the word she's looking for is enchantment. Yeah. That's the one. Magic giblets. AK enchantments. Yeah, uh, up to you guys. I mean, do you want to do a check or just, just chuck it open? Can I do just a quick investigation to see if it's... Sure. While I pass it to Penny to do like an investigation, I want to... I want to let this guy go. He's not going to make it far. He's probably going to bleed Is that what you're trying to Seriously, communicate to right? me? <laughs> 19. I'm 19. like, what's funny? 19. I got 19. You got 19. Um, you're doing the spell, like, to identify, or are you just doing an investigation? No, I think I'm just doing it an investigation just to see if it's, like, regularly trapped this, or anything like that. This is a perfectly average box. It has... It's fine. Like, it looks like it was made, like, with scraps. You know? It's... It's working. It's doing its job. It's about it. Seems you fine put, to me, guys. You could put, put some teeth. All in right. There. <laughs> oh. Was you this could, a test? You could pick up, put some finger bones in there. Yeah. Oh, open it. Open a penny. Uh, okay. I'll I'll open it up. I don't think this is the test. They're not that smart. Uh, Penny, inside you find a um, an item that is wrapped in um, like a let's say it's wrapped in like a like a linen. Uh, you pick it up. It's not too heavy. Okay. And as you unfold the linen, uh, you see that it is a glass key. Mm. It's the very beautifully that? made. Seems so the material to make a key out of. What the fuck would you use a glass key? You'd break it off right in the in the thingy, in the keyhole, and then you've got nothing. What you I think do? I think at this point, I think I will well mm, I don't think I would. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. I'm going to gingerly put the fabric around it and then place it back in its box. Yep. Who are we supposed to give this to? Were we giving this back to Ryan? We were Atlas. just intercepting it, right? Doesn't, uh, doesn't matter who takes it back to him as long as he gets to him. Okay. This one. Can we let him go? This guy? Yeah, yeah. The crying one. Okay. Please get out of here. Um, I want to like, but I want to like lean down and like with a smile on my face, like I want to threaten him that if he ever tells anybody about this or comes back to this city that I will cut him up into the tiniest pieces in the most painful way possible. But my family's here. And I have a really good intimidation. But my family's here. <gasps> Roll for intimidation. Take your family. Take your family. Oh, yeah, let me. Yeah, just take, take your fucking family. 23. Jesus. Ooh. All right. Ooh. Um, I have a 10. I only rolled a 13. Jesus. Um, I have a 10 for intimidation. He, like, is, he is sweating <laughs> profusely, and he says, I, oh, I won't ever do it again. Please, I, I made a mistake. I, uh, thank you. Thank you. He tries to stand, and he lets out a cry. Run. Oh. Um, can't hmm. run. He manages to get up onto um, uh, one foot I... leaning against the alley wall. Can can I give him like one of my javelins and be like, use this but forget where it came from? What do you offer him? Sorry? Uh, a javelin as a walking stick? A cane. Like okay. A um, he <laughs> flinches when you hold it out, but he takes it with shaky hands. Um, and then he just, like, wobbles away as fast as he can, trailing blood behind him. Clearly thinks you guys are going to change your mind at any moment. Have a nice morning! Anybody else? We killed them all. Understood? Yeah, I didn't know what you're talking about. They were all dead. I don't... Um, he's walking away right now. Penny! Penny! From behind huh. you, you he's hear... Like, the them all. From behind you, you hear a slow clap. Well, well. I join well. in. <laughs> Penny, stop. <laughs> Penny, no. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You Show see us. a pair of city guards. Well, that was some fine work. Um, I, I, I lean into, like, Ryan and Ellie. What? Would, would Ryan tell these guys? What yeah, they... it, it sure was. It was crazy bandit people. They were attacking that poor man. And fuck, we saved him just in the nick of time. Um, the man who has not been talking to you looks you over. Uh, you see his eyes settle on Ryan's collar and also on a similar but smaller band on Ellie's ankle and says your owned let's see your papers do I carry my papers with me do you have papers it's probably like <laughs> is it laminated is it laminated it's like it's, <laughs> it's not laminated yeah, it's, like, um, no, it's, it's, it's like imagine it's like a school, that's not, that's like that's my receipt for the that's oh, sorry, that's from my coffee. Oh, that's my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, no, have, you have you have the cards yeah. from the prince that say like I have the like the crown prince's approval to be out on this night between these times. Being alive, walking around like I'm fancy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Look at me. Um, he collects the two cards from yeah. you, and the other guy looks at Penny and says. What about you? Where's your card? Uh, I don't need a card. She's a student. She's uh, she's doing that co-op program where she comes on trips with people. It's that co-op prison slavery <laughs> co-op. <laughs> um, he looks over your paperwork and, you know, <laughs> nods a little bit. Name day. <laughs> oh, from the prince. And what was he having you do tonight?
we had the night off. I mean, it's not much of your business if we work for him. I mean, it seems like maybe you're one of the <clears throat> lower rank chains. Maybe you should be minding your own business before we go speak to his highness. Penny, are you still holding the... the she key? means we had the night off. She put it back in the box. I put it back in the box. Are you holding the box? Uh, so I... Like, under my... My arm, sure. We, yeah. We got there. Come on, out with it. It's a box. Contraband? It's a box. No, it's a box. Penny, he's going to try to intimidate you. A box is contraband? Ah. Uh, <gasps> can, I, can I cast Charm Person on him? Sure. Sure. <gasps> okay. Then we're going to run. Then we're going to run. <laughs> I will cast Charm Person and say, it's just a box. It's none of your concern, but thank you for being interested. Um, sorry. Um, do I roll? Or do you roll? I roll. Yes. You roll. 14. Yeah. So charm, charm Person is... 14? Yeah. Nuts. Yeah, it's a wisdom saving throw. So oh, you have to shit. add in their wisdom. Okay. Mm, do I want to roll again? Is your wisdom modifier? I'll roll again. Because I used the wrong roll. Okay, <laughs> he did bad that time. <laughs> I want to see Penny, like, charm this man. Yes. <laughs> All right. He com he's coming. He's close to you. Like, he's going to grab Nothing a box from you. Me. And you're like, it's just my box. Like... And we see, like, from his perspective, like, everything yeah, fades a bit in the distance, and there's, like, gentle music, <laughs> like, Penny's, like, under, like, a spotlight, and she's like, it's just something I found, and he's like, okay. The lollipop song is playing in the background. Such a sweet girl! She's gonna lie to us. Look at her face! Uh, Look at her face! <laughs> You better get these two back to the castle, then, if you're their keeper. Uh, yeah, I'll get these back to the and Yeah. Beautiful. So, Ryan and Ellie, you're pushed through past these two guards by Penny, who's like, that's right! It's me, I'm in charge! That's right! And on my way, I'd, I'd like to pick up the head, because I do want to add that to my collection. <laughs> Just with the hair! Just by the hair. And pick up the head on my way. <laughs> it's my first menagerie. It's my first menagerie. I need a prop. <laughs> Souvenir. Cool. It's a good I party. Do. You guys succeeded in your mission. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just dirty. I'm, I'm giving a lot of dirty looks to the guards as we're passing through. I'm like... I'll like wave to them be like, okay, thanks, bye! Okay. So, it's a little bit early, but I think I'm going to call for a halfway break there, just so that we can, uh, yeah, check in with the frame rate, make sure we get everything working well for the second half as well. So, we're going to take a 10-15 minute break. So, everybody watching, relax. Um, in the chat, no one has said anything about there being issues, so hopefully everything's good. So, like, I did ask, and no one said anything. There's people commenting, so... Beautiful. Thank you, everybody who's in there. Keep Thank you, everybody who's Keep in there commenting. Guys. Beautiful. All right. All right. Ready to Shall we smash in? it? Let's smash it. Let's smash Let's yeah. jump back in. Let's no one's cried yet. So, I mean, so, except for that one guy, but that doesn't count. The first phase of our game is focused on getting to know our characters a little bit in combat, seeing how they are cool guys. Let's start breaking them a bit with some emotional stuff. So, earlier we saw you fulfilling your mission from Atlas to collect uh, an item that was stolen from the castle, uh, a glass key that is now in Penny's possession. And you've made your way back to the palace grounds. Do you immediately go to Atlas or do you do something else? We I would assume we go back to Atlas. Lovely. Go. Lovely. So <laughs> Atlas has, uh, as the crown prince, he is one of two princes of this kingdom. Uh, has his own suite of rooms. Uh, Atlas's rooms are quite lovely. They're off towards the east side of the palace. Um, and uh, yeah, 
Ryan, you're quite familiar with this area, and you guide everyone there. I live there. <laughs> I live there. Well, I like it in, in my head, I'm not so subtly humming, we got it, we got it, we got it. Heroes. Never gonna give you up. Let you down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like, not so totally like using the head to like mime it as well. Like, like a yeah, lot of a lot of group pride. I guess. Yeah, that's so. Brian, are you as proud that's as your psycho. friends, or is this a getting much? a headache? No, getting a headache. <laughs> All right, you make your way to Atlas's wing. It's um, fairly late in the night, maybe well, fairly late by my definition is like, it's 10.30. Um, the party's been going for a few hours already. Um, so you knock on the doors to Atlas's room uh, and you hear him call for you to enter. Uh, Atlas is standing in the main kind of greeting area of his suites. Uh, he is handsome, tall, um, broad, uh, and he's, uh, he is a sword fighter, you can tell. Like, he's cleaning some of his armor as you come in, um, though he clearly does not have to, and he takes a great pride in it. So he sees you guys come in, he looks up, and he sets his things aside. You're back. We did it! Yes. You um, got it. We got it. And a what, ab what about the I'm prisoner? I'm holding it, like, up. It was unfortunate, but none survived. It was a tragedy. There was so much blood everywhere. It was like... <laughs> oh, no! Oh, my God! I'm dying! Hit me! Atlas watches Ellie's best. explanation and then slowly raises one eyebrow. And he says, he turns to Penny and says, is that what it was like? Penny? It, there was this one guy and his blood was just like... <laughs> uh, Ryan, I mean, Ellie, is, Ellie, is, Ellie is spitting on you while she does this description. <laughs> I'm gonna just step a little. <clears throat> it's unfortunate you couldn't save one of them. There are leaks in this castle, and it's unfortunate that we're no closer to finding out where they are. Why don't you just plug the leaks? That's what I hired you we to did do. Try. Or rather, that's what I hired her to do. He looks at Penny. One middleman does not have a conspiracy. <laughs> Regardless, you've solved the problem for today. Can I have it? Mm -hmm. I hold it out to him. Penny, I like that you're like already. Like, I've been holding it out to him for the whole time. Here you go. Uh, he takes the box from you, mm -hmm. and he rolls it, moves it over in his hand. Like he's looking at the box to see if. He can learn anything about it. It seems like he's doing a lot of what you were doing already, Penny. Um, but he doesn't seem to have any more success. He opens it up, uh, takes out the linen, and sets the box on the table beside him. He opens it and shows the key. Uh, it's really pretty. Like, now that you're inside in proper lighting and you're not kind of outside in the dim gloom of the alley, you can see just how well-crafted this is. Like, you could see the little knocks where it would catch is like a beautiful skeleton key he nods folds it up in the linen carefully sets it down on the ground and steps on it well that seems like a waste congratulations mazel tov. Yeah. thank you for your help you're dismissed for tonight. 
Oh, uh, could I? This might sound really weird. Could I get like a small vat of like acid? I don't have anything like that. I just, I just have this. You speak with Tomas. Oh, do you know who I would talk to to get some of that? Speak to Tomas. He might have some. Tomas, okay. I'll, I'll speak to Tomas. Anything for us? Okay. Atlas, right? Yeah. Well, what was the fucking point of that? Pardon? <clears throat> what was the fucking point of all that, if only to get it and then stomp on it and turn it into dust? Because it shouldn't exist. Did it not have a point? Not one that is permissible. Was it some kind of magic? Mm. Well, that seems crazy. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> You're dismissed. Go get some dinner. Uh, he shoes the three of you out, and you uh, can talk about your mission over dinner. Can I go to Tomas first in the library? Of course. Anybody library, else still right? bleeding Tomas. heavily, or is it just me? Oh, of course. You're all still oh, bleeding for a sure. lot. My, that, that gas <laughs> arm is probably still... Oh, yeah. Nice. I, think, I think we need to get healed up. But so... You want me to help you? And I just like... No. Rip off no. My no. I'm like, no. Ellie. 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 No. 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 There's someone who does this. Someone who does this in the castle for us. For us. You don't have no, no, no. That's very nice of you. Yeah, so Atlas see, says. So see. Ashley actually says, <gasps> "Go get, like go rap. get tended, and then go get some dinner." So, I imagine I you don't guys, get uh, tended. probably like wrapped your wounds on your way back, so they weren't you know bleeding profusely as you walk through the streets. But I don't know Ellie that well, so maybe that's a lie. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it like, so, comes up on its own. It's fine. Okay. Penny, do we want to go with you first and get some acid for your skull? And then you can meet the others in the yes. uh, the hospital wing? Beautiful. Yes. Penny, do you remember the way to the library? I feel like I do. Good, good. You have a map now. So if you've been studying, like all good wizards should, <laughs> you can find it. Mm. Great. I you have. Make it to the library. The door's all always right. open. Okay. I walk in and I look around. Do I see Tomas? Uh, Tomas is sitting at a desk. <clears throat> uh, it looks like he's sort of dressed up in that half of his face is covered with like masquerade kind of like uh, menagerie stuff and the other half is just normal and kind of smeared like he did it a while ago. Mm. He's reading. Okay. Okay. I'm going to saunter on up. Hello, Mr. Tomas. Oh, oh, Miss Blanchett. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, you are bleeding quite a bit. Oh. Oh, it's not all from me. Some of it are from my new friend. Oh. It's just a severed head. He, like, <laughs> he seems more concerned about the blood seeping onto yeah, the, like... um, the books. And he takes the book he was reading and just slides it a little bit away. <laughs> But otherwise, oh, he's like, like... Yes, no, I'm so sorry. I'm oh. so sorry. I should have thought... I oh, should have yes, thought about that. And who I'm is so this, sorry. Who is this fellow? You know, I didn't catch his name. What's a good name? Uh, do you name your skulls? Um, Brian? Brian? Yes, yeah, we'll say this is Brian. Brian, like brain? Ah, uh, and what, what are yeah. you and Brian doing? Happy something. Well, I was kind of hoping that I could, like, like distill the flesh and dissolve it so I can get a really nice skull out of it. Oh, a collectible. How lovely. Uh, do you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's do you have anything like that? I heard that you did. Acid. Oh, oh, what a good question. Good question. 
he uh, goes over to another room and starts flipping through a book of, uh, it says, uh, acids, acids, and ah! <laughs> Uh, and, uh, <laughs> he flips through, uh, and you can see, uh, that the, the pages get more and more warnings the further you flip. And he says, ah, uh, this, this, oh, yes, yes, this will be quite, quite, quite good. Yes, I, hmm, the library doesn't have any. I suppose I could share some for my personal stores. Hmm. Well, don't put yourself out or anything, Tomas. Um, I'm sure I can find some in the market, maybe. Oh, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. How about I lend you some now for your new friend, Brian, and the next time I need a skull melted, you help me out. Okay. Excellent, excellent. What a fine young woman you are, Miss Blanchett. He yeah. Anders is deciding he is going to GM. He is sitting immediately on the screen. I will share pictures after. Um, beautiful. He, uh, he goes into his back room and he brings out uh, a, a small little package of powder um, and some liquid. And he says, here, here, mix this with uh, ooh, 12, parts water. 12 parts water. Yes. 12? From my gauge, how potent is that? Oh, quite, quite potent. And uh, you'll want to make sure you don't use a metal bucket. Do not use a metal bucket. Our pride's uh, not course. the only yes, one who will be melting. Right? <laughs> oh, I see what you did there, yes. yes I'll yes. be sure to wear my hide gloves with that one. <laughs> um, okay, uh, thank you. Um, you are quite I better go suspended. get healed, because a lot of this blood is actually mine. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. You are going rather white yeah. in the face. And, uh, uh, I probably not prefer bodies oh. in my library. How else would you get people in here? <laughs> oh, Miss Planchet. He smacks you on the shoulder and it hurts like hell. Oh. <laughs> you have a good yeah, time, Yeah, that's lady. good. Okay, I'm going to go to my friend. <laughs> you, you too, Tomas. Meanwhile, Ryan and Ellie have made their way I'll towards over. the um, the infirmary, I guess we would call it. Um, the infirmary is towards the back on the main hall, uh, and it opens out onto the courtyard. So it's easily accessible from someone who is injured and is brought into the palace and also to the training grounds. Ryan, Ellie, what are you doing? <coughs> I'll probably walk in there like I own the place, and I'm like, all right, sit up on the table. I'll get to you in a second. Uh, there is a man in the room. Uh, as um, you come in, he just, like, puts his hands on the table and goes, Oh, Lord. <laughs> and he turns towards the two of you. Um, <laughs> no, yeah. Um, it is quite uncommon, actually, in this uh, area for people to have beards, but this gentleman does. He has a dark brown beard that's very well kept, um, and his hair is also shorter than is kind of common. Um, he has a kind face. Uh, oh, oh, dear. He stands up. Come sit down. Ryan, he's tending to you first. Uh, you're clearly What's his name again? worst off. This is Raph. Raphael. Yeah. Oh, Raph. Sorry. <laughs> Ellie likes Raph. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie's like, oh, right, Raph. I, have a, I don't have a crush on you. So he goes over to Ryan first. I don't have a crush on him. You're crazy. Ryan, how, are your, how bad are your injuries? Where are they? I am like at half hit points, so You're not in doing great. terms of fourth edition, I'm bloody. So <laughs> you are not quite, doing great. You are no. quite bloody. Um, no. Awesome. All right, uh, I'm going to say you have um, an injury to your side. So he um, looks over you for a second. Uh, he says, is, "Is this the only wound you have?" Is it? Yeah? Yeah. 
are the only major one. Yeah. Or I only got hit, got hit by yes. one yes. person. Sorry. Yes. Yes. I was there. I was in the battle. You were yes. in the battle. You yeah. were too busy being stabbed to pay attention. Um, <laughs> he, uh, he looks over and he says, uh, is it all right if I uh, move your clothing aside? Cool. He's he's very careful. Uh, he smells like uh, evergreen, like he's washed and he's very well kept. Uh, and he moves aside the... That's dreamy, isn't it? That's dreamy. Um, he moves aside the uh, blood fabric uh, to see the wound better. And he lets out a bit of a curse when he does. He says, all right, we'll need to remove some of this. He goes and grabs some scissors. And he cuts a little bit away, so he's kind of got a, an exposed area that he can see. I says, uh, at least you won't be needing stitches. Her Majesty wouldn't be so pleased about that. Please don't touch anything. He doesn't disagree. Um, he goes over to his table and he brings over a little pot of something. Um, he cleans her wound and then he spreads it into the, uh, the, the crease? The crease of the wound? I'm gonna say and uh he Did kind of presses it together and over time it starts to kind of word. hold itself more in place um it's certainly not fully healed um but it's probably two or three days into its healing like it's skipped ahead a little bit uh it hurts like a fucker when it does uh one of the things about healing in this world is that magical healing or anything that would make this heal faster also means you feel all of the pain of that over a shorter term uh so you go a little white in the, in the eyes for a minute there and uh yeah it is a train to the broadcast i'm like my head above her i'm like ryan ryan stay with us don't die ryan please ryan, you don't you don't hit me you don't hit me you don't hit me like, 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 ellie wick okay. Please go sit over on your side She's of the room. She's live! He gives you a very pointed look. What do you mean I'm fine? <clears throat> Raph, I'm fine. And I'll go sit down. I'll... <clears throat> Are you pouting? He looks at you for an extra minute just to make sure, like, you aren't going to come over. And then he turns back to Ryan. He says, I think you'll be alright to go out and go about your daily activities but i wouldn't get stabbed again soon see that like i did it intentionally <laughs> does that does the prince know that you're injured like this He was the one that sent me on this mission. Apparently I don't have anything else to do, so... Going out getting stabbed is... He gives you a sympathetic look. Look... The prince is... a competent fighter, and I'm... It's not that you are not. But perhaps... better armor would assist you? I'll ask him that for my next birthday. He gives you a pat on the shoulder and goes over to Ellie. It takes a big breath before he gets close enough. He says, <sighs> Yes. Ellie Wick, how can I be of assistance? I'm fine. No assistance. I was bringing her here. I've, I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't need anything. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> just like just just a little one, just a little thing. He says, You are <laughs> leaking. Well, I mean it happens. Let me give you a few seconds. Just stitches. slap a bandage on there. Just, just it's fine. Just give me something. <laughs> 
he goes over and no need to fuss. I'm fine. He goes over to his table and uh, rather than getting the nice liquid he used for healing Ryan's wounds, uh, he picks up a needle and thread and expertly threads it. He brings over a little wash table with some fresh water and cleans your wound. And uh, he begins to stitch. You need about eight stitches. <laughs> on the plus side, oh, this you is fucker. actually- fucker, so you decided on that quite quickly, didn't you? Well, yes, you need stitches. Yeah, you... Well, you know what? Oh, I need stitches, do I? Well, you'll die if you don't get them. Why do I need stitches? Stitches are just fancy people words. You don't need them. They just, the skin will just on it its is, own. It is a shock to me that any of your people survived. What do you mean? We're, 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 we're quite good at surviving. How have you not lost limbs and not. been cut in half? It's like two of you. I'm, we're very sturdy. Our skin is very thick. You know, we don't need as, all your fancy pantsy band-aids and things like that. As you say, our, our skin is thick. He stabs you again with the needle. Yep. Penny, you come in as Ellie is giving a okay. lecture to Raph about how she does not need stitches and she didn't come for his help and... <laughs> Her people are fine, and she doesn't need any of his fancy dancy <coughs> thread. <laughs> oh! Hi! I don't have very thick skin, that's why I use magic. Can I get stitched up for her healed, please? I'm almost yeah. dead. Yeah, why don't you get stitch up? I'm fine! I'm fine, you don't need to do anything to me. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. He ties off the end of it. Because... Put some iodine on top and just don't get it dirty. If I wrap it in linen, will you replace the linen when it's dirty? I'll replace the linen, Raph. Maybe. He covers you with a bit of uh, um, iodine and uh, wraps it up in a piece of linen. And then he moves over to Penny. He says, All right, and uh, what about you? Where'd they get you? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> um, I don't know what's my blood and what's Brian's blood. Brian? <laughs> so. Strip. Strip. Do you show oh, him? Oh, right, yeah. Um, Do you show I have, him, Brian? Um, yeah. Dear mm -hmm. sweet God. <laughs> He flinches back and, like, takes a few steps. Why do you have a man's head, Penny? Oh, don't worry. Well, I was hoping to collect and reap his skull. Yeah, I got that one for her. She, um, it was trying to kill it, and I just took its head off right off. It's okay, he's not gonna, like, jump up and move around again, I think. So, do you have like a towel or something that I can like scrub myself so I know where the wound is coming from? I mean, I should feel it, but I think my body's gone into shock. So, I think Melissa's frozen. I think oh, so. Oh, no. Because either that or she's thinking really hard. <laughs> It's a really Ooh. hard thing. I mm -hmm. think like, mm. she I could think just be taking space. She could just be. I mean, we are mm -hmm. dealing with some pretty heavy stuff. You gotta take your stretches. Yeah. Stretches. 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 Finger exercises. Finger exercises. Oh, something Is just this cracked. Me? Is this me? <laughs> ASMR oh. time. Hello. That's yeah, you. That's Hello. me. Hello again. That's you. There you that go. That is not Come ASMR. That oh. is obnoxious. Hello. There you go. Good back. Um, back. So, what was the last thing I said I before I I asked Raph for some kind of a sponge or... 
Oh, yes. Uh, so he came over, he stabbed you with a needle. Raph was freaking out because of Brian. Yeah. People don't usually bring skulls into his house. Me with a needle. Uh, so yeah, you get stabbed with a needle and you feel a warm oh, fuzziness go okay. through your body. Ow, oh, Raph! the heck? I'm sorry, you- A were, little warning! You were going to shock. You were right. All right. Um, oh. Okay, I felt that. Okay, well, Miss Planchet. Mm. Here, he goes over to like one of the cabinets and brings out a couple little pills that he says, here, this will help you with the pain. Okay, thank you. Um, he continues to help you out. Uh, oh. You do also need a couple stitches, mm -hmm. but for the most part, you just need to have your wound cleaned and tied up. Uh, and when you guys are all done, you're feeling better. Everything aches instead of stings, which I guess is an improvement. Woohoo! Uh, and in this world, Good. of course, people scar, okay. so please nice. pay attention to where your wounds are, because you will have lots of scars eventually. And not just all physical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. You're all free to go. He uh, dismisses you all. He asks you to come back if you need help um, replacing your bandages or if anything tears. He looks specifically at Ellie when giving all the instructions on coming back. Ooh. Wow, my dog and myself look fine. like Slenderman. Yeah. I'm fine. I feel like this has gone on a few times where she's come in and he's been like, okay, do this. And she's like, no, 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 I'm fine. Yeah, Ellie's, fine. Ellie's style of medical And now they're like big, like, stars. Yep. So he yeah, knows you, you're probably yeah, not. You, you, <sighs> you're probably not going to come in and he knows it. All right. Ellie, are you confidently leading the way to dinner? I think I'll actually go back to my room really quickly just to set up the solvent and uh, begin the process with Brian. Yep. Beautiful. Uh, open a window. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. You uh, drop Brian in by his hair and... Yep. Beautiful. <laughs> See you later, Brian! <laughs> yeah. I'll see you soon! You soon! <laughs> Uh, good. Ryan, do you say anything else to wrap Don't before you leave? Anything. No, she's a little grumpy. A little grumpy. <laughs> all right, he uh, sees you guys all out the door and then goes back to the book he was working on, but uh, then realizes he's still a little bloody and goes to start kind of cleaning up a bit more. Oh, I'll say thank you. Like, I'll say thank you. Like, thank you. Like, kiss on the cheek, but that's it. But no more, like, he smiles no. and gives you like a, a like a nice head nod. <clears> okay. <throat> uh, you all enjoy dinner together, maybe. Does anyone want to talk about your mission and what happened and the decisions you therefore made? Um. Yeah. I, I mean. What the fuck was that? He took the box and then he smashed the fucking key. Yeah, that was weird. What the fuck was the point of all that? We we uh, killed all those people and then, you know, we let the one guy go because he got he's got a he's got a family, mm -hmm. and then he smashes the fucking key. Ryan, do they just like playing with us, like making us do things because they can? Who the fuck plays with someone like that? What kind of fucking psychopath? Hmm. <clears throat> oh, right, right. That kind of fucking psychopath. Uh, but what about... What about just... Hmm. He, didn't even, he didn't even look at the key. He just fucking smashed it. He was just like, fuck... <sighs> what? I don't know. I think, I think there might be some sense to it, though. To smash in the key. Yeah, like maybe it was maybe, something. Maybe that led to somewhere that nobody really should go to, or maybe it was incriminating evidence against him or something. Or maybe it led somewhere that maybe even 
you know, he couldn't go to or had some type yeah. of incriminating stuff. Like, like I want to bring like a like a criminal underbelly of the kingdom. I yeah, mean, and it's already there. We're just just finally finding it. What maybe thing? like it's it's like it's a key, right? And the key would have led to somewhere. And maybe that place they don't want to have somebody go to, which was why it was stolen in the first place. And so by destroying the key, now it's secure whatever it is that's behind a locked door. Yeah. Um Melissa, what what you said it was a glass key, but did it have like anything that looked like dwarven or elvish or it looked pretty, was there anything specific it about looked, it? It looked like, like an all old looked... key. It was a big key. Like it's it wasn't it wasn't like a flimsy little like key for like a lockbox. It was like a good solid skeleton key. Okay. Um but it to looks... like open the door maybe? Yeah. Yeah. It looked practical. Beautiful but practical. It makes no fucking sense. Ryan. I mean, you know the prince more than we do. Are you telling you anything? You know him better. I don't. He doesn't tell me anything. I don't. I just pass her one of the like goblets of drink on the table, just like. <laughs> Ryan doesn't drink. Ryan does not normally. Let's gel up. Yeah, let's drink. Oh no. Let's drink. Let's drink. Oh, so no. say after the fucking day we've had, you know, it was out there, and then fuck, fuck nothing. That was it. Yeah. She has the whole to do the whole thing at once. Just I, just sit. I just, I want to know where that, that. I that... usually drink as much as I can, and then I maybe fall asleep sometimes, or sometimes I end up at the top of a building. But you know, that's different. So, Penny, what were you saying? Oh, I was just wondering what was behind the glass door. Like, I'm assuming it's a glass door if it was a glass key. Glass door? I never even thought about that. What? Why would you need a key for a glass door? Because you're not yeah, just breaks the glass door. Yeah. Well, a glass door? it might be one of those you can see it, but you can't touch it kind of an idea, right? I, w I want to touch it. Right? <laughs> kind of well, like Penny. Yeah, I'm yeah. not kicking in. Wait, have, have you seen the glass door, Penny? Well, no, you can't see through glass. Like, you can see through glass, so you couldn't be able to see it. So I wouldn't have been able to see it. That's good to know. All right. Um, yeah. Just going to save that in the back of my brain and be like, all right, so let's have a drink. <laughs> on He's got the best for, intelligence. You know? Yeah, I'm... Um, Probably one of our best outings as of yet. I mean, mm -hmm. no one important died, and we didn't get in trouble. So and none of us died. That all that—that's all that matters. Cheers, 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 okay. cheers. Well done, team. Hmm. I'd say. I mean, if we had to be some type of like Charlene angels, we'd be like three crazy. Chicks is something. Mm -hmm. About it. <clears throat> some like some like um some uh, some type of Charles. Uh, you know, dieting. That would be it. Would be At right. Atlas is murderers, right? Atlas is murderers. Atlas is assassins. 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 Because you know the, the murder. <laughs> Um, yeah. That is the energy we that, should the have rest, that. that the rest of the night has. This continues, only getting more and more like debauched and ridiculous as the night goes on, um, until morning comes. And yeah. uh, I want to see how hungover everybody is. Penny, were you drinking? Oh, I probably we... drink. Um, Penny has been mainly drinking orange juice. Okay, but she's just been feeding off of the vibe. So, so Penny's got the, got the like social drunk. Yeah, she's definitely got the giggles, but only from like her friends. Aw. Penny's got the giggles. 
I'm gonna say that you get you get advantage then mm-hmm. on how tired you are in the morning because you still stayed up all night all talking right. to your friends. Uh, yeah, I did. I, yeah, I, there's no um, way that is that. Sorry, God, it's a Constitution save. Okay. Uh, and there's no way. Uh, three would yeah, no, you. that's fine. That's twenty. We're fine. No, <laughs> I've pulled old nighters before. This is nothing to me. Ryan, what's your con? Oh! <laughs> Zero. Um, great. This is our, <laughs> um, our first 20 of the game. Um, for your, hun- your hangover <laughs> on dice that you made. I so- made you. I made I'm sorry, they Mark. turned on you. They turned. This is why this is why I do not I do not play with my own dice. This is why. This is why. <laughs> I knew it. I put it in like seven posts. Maybe, maybe your dice heard about it and they were like, Well, we're turning on you, baby. Yeah. yeah they so. betray me every so, time. Ryan every time. is super hungover and Ellie okay. What's your uh con? Wait, can I roll my do I get to roll a con save? Uh, isn't it just the con score in fifth? Wait. Or am I wrong? My my con my con save is plus four. I was gonna say I thought usually we get to roll like a con save or something, or is that not? Michael and scam rolls. It's not like an attack, right? Yeah. Uh, you did consume all or it could be did. like ten plus your. Um, whatever modifying score. Uh, Stam's choice. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Let's roll. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, what's the, what's going on? Roll from. No, you're fine. We just need you to roll. Me? Yeah. Yeah, Ellie, roll, damn bones. Oh, oh shit. Well, Penny says roll them both. Hang on, there we go. a very different context than most people. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It feels different. Feels 21! Different. Um, yeah, you're you're not 100%, but you're actually pretty good. Like, you're kind of used to this level of drinking. Um, Ellie, come morning, there's a knock at your door. Oh, fuck, fuck off, fuck off, it's like 6 a.m. All right, yeah, no, I'll, I'll like slowly like <laughs> peel myself out of bed, just like. Ellie's all about complaining, like, like I, I bet Ellie just, uh, like, like, it's three in the morning, it's like, no, it's not, it's two in the afternoon, like, it doesn't matter. You I'll open the door. Fucking three in the morning, all right, all right. You open the door, and Atlas is there. Well, if it isn't the Prince of Breaking Pretty Little Keys. After we just <laughs> went out there and risked our own hides and stuff. <laughs> Can I help you? Isn't it the Prince I'll say, of I'm, Breaking I'm just Pretty Little, little Keys? Um, he says, well, if you're so grumpy about it, we could train. We could certainly train. Maybe you'll tell me why you broke the fucking key we went out there to get for you. You know, she probably just like gets herself all ready and she's just like gone out there, well, she risked her life. She 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 almost fucking died, then you risked all of our lives, you know, we had to cut someone's head off. Like I'll oh see you my inside. god. It's crazy. But then- and he just like like he he's like he, like we hear him, but Ellie keeps talking. <laughs> Like lecturing him, and he's long gone. She got a fuck. All right, yeah, I'll get myself up and and I'll go meet him in the in the courtyard or whatever, wherever we do our training in the morning. Beautiful, Penny. You wake up and it's a very special day. It's Brian's second birthday. Yes. <laughs> You get out your favorite- I'm super excited. I, like, skip over oh. to- <laughs> Skip over to your pot oh, yeah. of bones. <laughs> I do! 
Cool. You uh, you got to kind of fish out the skull. Uh, it smells a little funky, but you're used to it. Mm -hmm. uh, and it comes out, and it's quite a nice skull. He's got a... It looks like he had, like, maybe, like, a concussion or some point. Like, he's got some kind of, like, injury on his skull in one place. Um, and, like, overall, it's a nice oh. little skull. There's a few... Um, there's even a few um, vertebrae in the bottom of the bucket. A little extra. Ooh. I'll deal with that later, right now. <laughs> I'm gonna put you here, and I'm gonna grab and I grab like one of the like phrenology kind of clamp things, and I just start like examining you a little bit and like making notes about it. And I'm like, Brian, you were a fascinating individual. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> hmm. Penny probably forgets breakfast for quite a while while enjoying. Yep. Brian's second birthday. Mm -hmm. Um, lovely. Ryan, you wake up, uh, and you are, like, in mm. your bed, uh, but you are, like, upside down. Still drunk? <laughs> you're a little drunk. Like, a little drunk, and, like, you're on that edge of nauseous, yeah. where you're just like, why? Like, Not drinking, totally sober yet? You're oh drinking God, in your man. 30s drunk. Oh no! <laughs> oh, um, Could you say such thing? hurtful. That's, that's hurtful. hurtful. That's hurtful. And I feel personally attacked. So, so hurtful. Um, <laughs> so you yep. know you have to get up. You have to do your things. It is a slog to do anything. Do you shower? Yes. Do you yes. do your makeup? That's actually really half acid. Hmm? You half, half ass your makeup? Do you do your hair? Half ass. That's all of her half ass on it. Everything's half assed. Everything's half assed. Really what pick do you, half ass. That's what do you the pick currency. It doesn't matter. What do you pick to wear? Because I'm going to get screwed today? Like, that's not going to happen. What does it matter? <laughs> it doesn't matter what I look like. Okay. No, just... Uh, um, I don't know. Is something like comfortable? Is something relatively comfortable? Do I have anything comfortable? What is relatively um, comfortable for her? Not much. Not much, to be fair. Oh, Bobby. Um, yeah. Okay. You need um, a, a shower and some fresh air, not right. usually, and a so, coffee or a tea, like a hot drink. Okay. Um, you can get a tea pretty easily. Um, if you don't mind a cold tea, there's actually a cold pot um, that Atlas left before he left this morning in the main room. No. Nope. Cold tea's fine, unless uh, it's winter. Is it winter? It's nice, it's refreshing. Oh, yeah, cool. Cool. Um, and uh, you know, Atlas is often out training this time of day, so you know, if you're gonna go get some air, you might as well go say hi. I I might walk in that direction, but not like in a like I'm going to see him kind of way. I'm still mad. You're still mad. <laughs> yes like a like a like a like a like a child who's like i'm gonna walk Maybe. right by that person's place and I'm gonna... no 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 like no grumpy puss. No. like not like actually attempting to like she's gonna walk in that direction and just see what he's doing but, but does not intend for him to see her uh but going in that direction as you uh... i mean that's where the action is anyway that's where ellie is mm -hmm. As you leave um, Atlas's wing. She goes out uh, there to watch Ellie just as much as she does him. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, as you leave Atlas's wing, uh, you feel the presence of someone come up beside you and say, Well, you look a little out of sorts, princess. I need... 
It's not feeling well today. Probably cold or something. It's going to keep walking. <laughs> Uh, falling into step beside her is another young man. Uh, unlike uh, Atlas, he is much leaner, uh, much more of a like concentrated and kind of power. Um, but he moves with this like effortless kind of grace. Uh, he has longer blondish hair, uh, and he is very sly look on his face. Um, this is our son. He says, rough night. She has poor manners to tell a girl that she doesn't look nice. I didn't say you didn't look nice. I said you look like you had a rough night. Would you like me to tell you you look nice? Oh. No. I'm going for a walk. Hmm. Can I join you? He falls into step without really waiting for you to answer. I really don't have the energy to argue, right? Fine. So where are you going for a walk? Out to the courtyards, gardens, training grounds? Maybe all of them. Let's go see if Ellie's out there. Oh, she's usually out and about, isn't she? Well, I'm sure you've noticed Ellie. Yes, yes. Uh, like, literally an axe to the face is trying to ignore Ellie. I think that's why I like her. She does have a certain presence. I can't fault my brother's taste. Sorry, 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 sorry. Low blow, low Hi. blow, but sorry. okay. Oh, fuck. Sorry, my internet is fucking crazy right now. I apologize, everyone, but I'm back. Sorry, continue. I'm sorry. Happy. Really sorry. Happy. Aren't we all? He's the future king. That's what you should wish for him, and he's your brother. Mm, on a good day. A bad day. We just live in the. It's your brother on a bad day too. Regardless. So, you look a little drunk, but also like you got maybe injured? You're favoring your side. I don't have much to do around here, so my brother sent me to go get a item he sent you to get an item and you got stabbed a little you were stabbed a little does my brother know what a consort is you should have rather more pleasant activities to enjoy well i was Perhaps you should tell him that. Perhaps I will. He opens the door for you. That was sarcasm, don't actually say that. But how am I supposed to know when you're being sarcastic and when you really want my help? What? Sorry, I don't need your help. <laughs> Having a conversation. It's not me asking you for anything. If you say so. (laughs) 
Well, I have other things to see to today. You have a <laughs> lovely day. He gives you a sweeping bow. Thank you for the escort. You're most welcome. Ah, you well. Uh, he stands there and watches you leave until you have gone around a corner. I definitely look back. Oh, don't want to. Definitely do. He's still looking at you and he smiles Shit. when you do. Oh, Ryan. <laughs> All right. I know. Don't worry. <laughs> We're good. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. Okay. No. Beautiful. Um. Right. Ellie, how's that training going? Oh, I'm going completely fucking hard on Prince Atlas after his backlash. I feel like it's like that kind of trainer trainee thing where like, you know, it's you, you can say shit to each other when you're not doing stuff, but as soon as you start training, it's just like, you pathetic wimp, like, <laughs> you called us in for this, and like, okay. just being like, so we, you know so, what, I didn't need you. So we yeah. cut to them training, and Ellie's tried to come in high with her axe, and uh, he's managed to block you. Uh, you're using training weapons right now, uh, <clears throat> so you've got a wooden axe, which is quite a bit lighter, and obviously not Blend quite as... Probably, right? Yeah, it's dangerous. Actually, I'm gonna say you're fighting with, like, long sticks. Let's just say we're doing long stick fighting today. That's always fun. Okay. Um, so you come in to attack him hard, and you say... <laughs> you sent us out on a mission that you wanted us to get killed on! He Just blocks. Like, oh, no, 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 no. That's he me. blocks. Yeah. Um, and, uh, says, I knew you wouldn't die on it. You're rather more competent than that. Uh, yeah. yeah, but what the fuck was the point of all that if we were only to get fucked off by you stepping on it? Just because and I like, wanted to draw something. back and try to, like, smack him again. He blocks again. Just because I didn't want them to have it doesn't mean I think I need it either. Yeah, who the fuck's them, then? Yep! Yeah. And try to bring it down on him again. Uh, this time he parries to the, or he uh, he sidesteps, and he swings his uh, stick around, and he gets natural twenty. So he specifically like pulls the hit. Literally, like you can feel your clothing flutter a bit from where he would have hit. Um, and he pulls back. He's very skilled. He gets back into fighting position. Look, someone took something that they like... shouldn't have had, and I asked you to retrieve it, which you did, and having it around would have meant someone could have stolen it again. Best that there's only one copy. And I try to, like, jab him first to, like, catch him on off guard and just, uh, just, um, well, why the fuck do you have it in the first place? That was it. There are lots of things in this castle that are not for everyone else to see. And I'll try and, like, pull my staff back and just try to, like, you know, try to do, like, some type of sweeping motion under his feet and just ask him, like, Well, if you, if you only needed us, then why did you send us? Because gods could have clearly done what we did. Yes, but I can't trust the guards, he says, and, like, your hit just catches the edge of one of his feet. Um, he doesn't fall quite, he, like, lands, like, on one knee and, like, with his other, kind of, on his feet, but, like, kneeling. And he kind of rolls back out of the way before oh, he can get back to I his feet. I want really- I was gonna say, before he gets back to his feet, I want to really try to quickly, like, just, like, pull it up from his feet and just be like, well, if you had it under control, then why the fuck did you need us? Ellie? This is what you do. Your job is to help as I need you to help, and this is what I asked you to do. He stands up slowly, kind of cleaning off the dirt off his things. Would you rather be, I don't know, on kitchen duty? 
Or would you rather be out in the city seeing things and fighting? Yeah. I don't see what you're so I can't about. cook for shit, but you know what? Listen, if you have me out there fighting for something, I need to know what I'm fighting for. You're fighting you for me. You may have control of me at this moment, but you know what? Of course. But you know what? If you want me to fight for you, I need to at least know what the fuck I'm going into. Going in blind? Fuck that. I told you that there was probably Might as well chop off my one. What would you rather me told you? He says, and he's standing up straight now with his, uh, uh, his pole arm kind of behind his back. She's probably looking up at him and she's like, well, if you told me what the fuck we were after, and if I told you, know, you I would have made it a glass, priority. It was a priority and you got it fine. The only thing you did wrong was not capturing someone alive, which I'm sure was a little bit your fault. He gives you, like, a little smirk. Like, he's not... He's only this playful with, like, you on occasion. Like, he's having a lot of fun. I was gonna say... I'm just like, oh, yeah, of course, of course. And then I flip him under the knees to try and, like, trip him. <laughs> he laughs and hops can I back. Try and, can I try and trip him? Yeah. No! <laughs> what do you mean, no? I'll just be like, listen... <laughs> No, I just, I want him to fall. But also, like, you know what? I may be a prisoner, but I'm a fucking great person to have on your side in a fight. And when you leave me at the disadvantage you did earlier, well, I didn't even know what the fuck I was going into. You. That's not okay. My team, my friends got hurt, and that's not okay. Just give me a little bit more of the fucking details before you send us out there next time. That's all, of it. That's all I'm asking. That's it. Uh, are you trying to persuade him? Don't give a fuck what you're after. Let me know. What? Yeah, do a persuasion roll. Am I swearing at him? Yeah, you can swear at him. Okay. You're not in the castle. His mom's not around. <laughs> persuasion? It's only plus one. Fifteen. If I can, next time I will try to let you know more. Acceptable? Yeah, it's fucking acceptable. All I care about is you not getting us fucking killed. And I don't give a fuck about me, but I just want them to not have to fucking deal with that. Yeah. Miss Planchette's a little more squishy than I expected. I didn't expect you all to be injured. She might be fucking squishy. You know how fucking injured she was? She was spitting blood all over the fucking stones. It's fucking nuts. Look, there's... And you didn't even seem like you gave two shits. I care, alright? Look, next time I send you on a mission, I'll get you some better equipment. Something you can use at least when you're out fighting. Even if you can't keep it. And I'll speak to Raphael. Perhaps yep. he has some kind of healing potions he can give you that would be of assistance. I didn't no. want you to be injured. Yeah, None um, of you. I'm I mean, I wouldn't be worried about me or Penny. We got off barely unscathed. It was, it was Ryan who took the blunt of it. And, it, you know, you didn't even... It's like you didn't even bat a fucking eyelash at her. Uh, he goes extremely red in the face. Um, and he says... It's natural wing girl. It's, it's complicated. <laughs> It's all fucking complicated. We're all in the service of another fucking person. Isn't that true? You know, I... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm done with training today. Your highness. 
he watches you go and he's got a a heavy expression. Like he's still processing how he feels. Penny, is there anything else you want to do today? Good. I'm gonna break that boy. I think that was. <laughs> I think she's just really, um, you know, trying to get as much information about Brian as she can. <laughs> what do you want to know about Brian? Let's find out some things about Brian. Yeah. Just wait. His bone mass. <laughs> yeah. God, I'm gonna need to Google. <laughs> I'm gonna be on some like watch lists. Like, how much does a human male skull weigh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, I think that's that's science. that's I think going to take up most of her. Yeah. Lovely. For I think writing feels, purposes only. She I, feels back you know into her element because I think this is the first time. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's the first time she's been able to dig back into this. Mm hmm Yeah. So let's say it's... Uh, so she's feeling much more at home now. Uh, the day passes and you have not had breakfast or lunch. Um, does someone bring Penny yep. food when they realize she hasn't eaten in, you know, a long time? You're muted. That's that's Ellie. Of course, of course. Oh my god. As as soon as I didn't see her at breakfast, I like ran up to the buffet table and I was like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, my friend's in danger. And then I <laughs> run towards where I last saw her. Uh you I, like full of bread, handful of jam. Yeah, yeah. So what have you what have you collected for Penny today? Oh, it's, it's Probably everything they had on the stand of like food, like the breakfast. I'm, I'm assuming it's like a breakfast buffet style, right? Yeah. yeah. So like, there are people who are I supposed grab, to stop you from I eating grab, too much, but the they're all too scared of you. I grab the sausage. I grab like the squishy eggs. I grab like there's like little bits of like jam that was in like a little like a little scooper, and I just was like. <laughs> like taking things off of people's plates as you go. Oh, that my friend cool. needs this. My friend needs this. <laughs> my friend's dying. And then I grab all that. Uh, Penny, you hear someone kicking at the bottom of your door. Hello. It's like kick, 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 and I kick the door in. Hi. Hi. Penny. Penny what, what is saying. Uh, Ellie, are you okay? And a skull looking at her. Penny, oh my god. Whew, I, whew, I'm winded. I thought, I thought, I thought someone had you. I thought they weren't giving you food after last evening. No, oh. no, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm sorry, I just got wrapped up into my work again. Um, oh, right. I, what time is it? Penny, it's 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 like fucking noon, and it's probably like seven a.m. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's really late. Uh, I, I do that. I'm so sorry. Um, I, just, I brought I brought you breakfast. I was worried, and I just like. <sighs> oh wow! Like right on the desk near her, uh, and it's Brian, just Brian now garbage has, food. <laughs> Brian now has like an apple like sitting in his jaw. And Brian's clearly hungry too. Oh, mm, okay. Yeah, that's okay. I can clean that off. Um, I, I guess I can take a little bit of a break. Um, do you, have you eaten, Ellie? Yeah, I've had two fucking meals already. Okay, I, 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 like days. I'm not. I'm, Brian and I aren't going to be able to eat all this by ourselves. Oh uh, no, Brian! Wait, who the fuck's Brian? Oh right, yeah, Brian. And I lift up the skull from the food. Look, see? The apple falls out through the bottom been... of the head. <laughs> that just happens with my Adam's apple. See? My... <laughs> yeah. So, <sighs> I'll, I'll put them on the shelf with the other ones. She puts it on the shelf that's with the other that's ones. That's a great idea, Penny. Ellie, what the f fuck? <laughs> 
it's a little collection of mine. It just reminds me of when I was at school. Um, collection. You speak to your collection and then you speak through your collection. Oh, I was just having a little bit of fun. Um, did it make you feel uneasy? I know, nope. I know some people. It, nope. I'm, I'm fine. You know, you got to do some weird shit to fucking spook me. I've just never right. seen it before. You know what? If you're going to have breakfast with your beheaded buddy, you know what? Go for it. Okay. Um, I, I'm not... I mean, he doesn't need to eat anymore, so I think he's fine. Well, fuck, that means more for you, then. <laughs> I guess so, but I, I'm not going to eat all of this. I, I can try, but... No, I'll help you, and I just, like, sit down right next to Penny. I'm like... <laughs> I think I grab the toast and uh, peanut butter, I think, is that. Maybe some jam. And, oh, like, sure. and then I'll like scoop some eggs on top of that for you. Oh, wow. like, don't forget to get your protein. Oh, yep, yep, there you go. Yep. And oh, it probably makes like, bite. Just like get it all the in. best and worst burgers of all time. Like, thank you, Ellie. I didn't know you knew my favorite peanut butter jam and egg sandwich. You know what? Sometimes I'm just Thanks. so in tuned. Mm hmm. I can't wait to eat all of this on an empty stomach. You know, I can't really eat a lot on an empty stomach. So I think I'm just going to have just a little bit of the toast first, just to get some roughage into me. And then yeah. I'll. I'll double down on that protein. Is that a full chicken? You know, you know what? A chicken is stronger. So just save it for later. It's mm -hmm. still alive. It's yeah. alive. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> just, cool. oh, no, we'll cook it. Fine. Chicken's gonna jump into that bucket of like, melting wax. Yeah, live one. Don't do it. <laughs> I haven't put the lid on yet. <laughs> Which is where chicken comes from. <laughs> All right. So guys... I will start to eat, uh, like, look at Ellie start... and be like, mm hmm, oh, no. Mm -hmm. You start to feel refreshed. Uh, you both will heal an extra hit point. Hooray. <laughs> Woo. Do we get an extra hit point or do we just. No, like, so I, after a long rest, you get back all your hit points. You get all of them? Okay. Uh, I thought we were talking about doing, like, one hit point per, yeah. like, long rest or something. Like, making it real time-consuming. Yeah, do you want to do that? Penny had a long rest? That's a good point. Oh, yeah, Penny hasn't had a long rest. Penny was up late talking to her Because I feel like friends. Penny hasn't had no. a long rest. That's right. <laughs> All right, I'll get a hit point back then. I mean, why would you want to have a long rest when you can stay up with your friends at a sleepover and then hang out with Brian? That's very true. Mm -hmm. By friends, you mean skulls. Sorry. Skull can be friends too. Skulls. Yes. All right. Um, it's a bit Brian, is there anyone else you want to talk to? Is there anything else you want to talk to today? No, no, that's not your question. I have one more like end scene for Ellie. Um, so if there's anything we want to do before that, the floor is open. Hmm. I think I'm just going to cover up my bat of chemicals so mm -hmm. that if anybody accidentally found it, they're not going to try to stick their fingers in it. Yeah, um, you should probably get rid of that somewhere, but you can't really throw it out the window, so. Could I keep it for later use, or is it like a one-time use only? Uh, let's say it's got like a, it'll work for like a couple weeks before you need to get, uh, uh, you know, more. Okay. You know, before the chemical reaction stops really. So know. I write that to my journal. Yeah, write that on, put that in your inventory. Like I make like a like a bucket timeline. of melting skin yeah. acid. Bucket of melty skin acid. Okay. All right. So for our last unless scene, I go back and see Alice at some point or Raph. Yeah, we have we got we got to go till three. 
Well, we're still half an hour. We're still going to do a debrief at the end of the game to talk about what we want to do next time and our next time on. So that's going to take about 15 minutes. So, um, yeah. And since it's our first game, we can always answer some questions too and take questions from the audience as well. Um, Unless someone else wants to do a scene. Um, I, I would like to... I would like to uh, take a snoop with the guard who sometimes accompany me. Sure. Um, so Ellie's done fighting with Atlas and is feeling pretty grumpy and decides to go find her one of her other friends, uh, the guard named Weiss. Uh, Weiss is uh, on guard duty when you find him. Uh, standing kind of near the entrance of the castle. All right, I'll like walk up and I'll be like, "Time for a jaunt. Come on, Wass. Come on, a little southern." Um, I'm working. Well, I've had a really long day and I could really use an escape. And I'm sure that you could too. And I look over at the nearest guard and I'm like, you, watch his position. Otherwise, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to fucking take you into half. And then you're going to be nothing but a gooey pile of mush on the ground. And I'll send it to your family. Uh, Weiss puts a hand on your shoulder and says, Ellie. Calm down. It's 8.30 in the morning, all right? Just breathe. <laughs> Her breathing gonna... is just, like, full, like... He looks, full, to, he, looks to his, like... he looks to his buddy, and he's just like, I'm just gonna take a break. I'll, I'll be back. And he kind of, like, guides you away, and he's like, what is wrong with you? You can't just tell people you're gonna cut them you in know half what? unless they it's do what you really want. It's been a really fucking hard day. Yeah, well, it's hard for him, too. You can't just walk well, around you know and cut people in half, Ellie. You know what? Sometimes people don't listen and you have to spook them into it. That's all you I have to say. And him. I need you. You just and told we're... him he was going to do it. And if you didn't, you kill him. That's not asking someone. That's threatening them. I... He, looked at me. he looked at me with his eyes and his eyes said no. And I said with my own voice, I said yes. And that's how... Talking to people works. Ellie, look, I I get what you're saying, but you're also new here. So maybe just tone it down a little bit until you get to know people. You know, if you ask a favor and maybe you can repay it later, that's kind of how things work here, okay? It's not really a threaten to cut people in half kind of city, mostly, sometimes. He nods, okay. like, yeah. That's, well, yeah. I mean, what if he's not there later for me? I mean, what if he's not there later for me to see to? What if it's, what if this is it? What if he gets cut in half another time and then I can't even talk to him about getting cut in half in this time? If he gets cut but in I mean, half, all he's I dead. want to go to our spot. All right, fine. Well, then go. I can, then I have to speak to another person. Okay, let's go. Come on. Come on. I just want to go to our spot. To our spot. Go. Well, hurry up. It's like a dog. Fine. And I'll I'll leave him at the bottom of the spire. And I'll just like I'm, I'm coming, alright? Calm down. He follows behind you, but he's like he's grumbling. Go to hide. She's like, he's like, oh so girls. many fucking steps. And Ellie's just like jumping like two at a time to get to the top. Do my fucking guard duty. I don't quite know the fuck. I mean, why would you say no to this view? This complete fucking view. It is a beautiful view. The side of the castle that Ellie is looking over um, shows a beautiful lake, and there's mountains in the background, an untamed forest beyond it, um, and it does have a very scenic quality. You don't really get the sense of the 
you know, the slums and the inequality. Like, you really get a sense of the grandeur of the world itself. Because I don't disagree. I just... You can't just interrupt someone's work day to go sightseeing, Ellie. We don't all work for the prince. No, but I mean, you have a terrible day. Sometimes you want to go to your favorite spot. And it's unfair that I have to take you with me, but fuck, I mean, that's my why life, so... Why is it unfair that you have to take me with you? Sorry. Rude. What do you mean? I can't go anywhere without you. Well, Otherwise, I'll send that jackass, that big Fabio-looking fuck, and then he won't even leave me alone. He'll be breathing down my neck the entire well, time. If you stay on the grounds, you don't have to have me around, you know that. Or if you get a, a slip that says you can leave, alright? Just... It's not like you were going out partying. Although you do look a little... Mm. He's like, he smells you and he's like, oh, that's like a lot party, of whiskey. But you know what? He's like, wow, you have not showered in a very long time. Oh, you smell like whiskey and blood. Oh, okay. No, I mean... <laughs> hey, no one lets me up here. Not even if I'm on leave. They don't trust me. They think that because I've got wings, I can just fucking dash off anywhere I want. But they know that, like, they just don't know that I can't leave. Well, I mean... You're the only one who knows that I can't fucking... Alright, fair enough. You know, it probably I does mean that they're paying less attention to you if you got someone with you. I wouldn't want bows, like, trained on me either. It's not even about that. It's just having the barest touch of freedom. It's, it doesn't come often now. It's it's can't you just you can't have it. Not even after killing four people and fucking stealing the key and the prince crushing the key with his fucking foot. I'm sorry. What? There's just there's there's no. Yeah, yeah. There was a fucking key. And there was the fucking prince, and we fucking stole it for him, and he fucking stomped it with his fucking pointed toe boot. Okay. Um, that's a little weird. Yeah, who stomps a fucking key with their boot? It's a fucking key! It's not gonna die after you do that. Anyway, no, it was I mean, just, it was a long day. I guess it's dramatic. I mean, I guess he could have just chucked it at a window, but that's kind of. I mean, he too. is kind of a drama. No, he's kind of a drama queen, you know. It's got to be right then and there. The princes. Is... Anyway, you're the passionate. only one. That's what we like about him. He's passionate, but you know what? Doesn't do anything for anyone. I mean, you're the only one I know who kind of understands what we're going through you're the only one who kind of comes with me on our journeys when i need you to or when i mean the crown needs you to because heaven forbid the sylphie flies away even though her wings aren't up to her level because she's still young yeah but i don't think many people know about self you can tell puberty Wing puberty? Do selfies yeah. have two wheel two burpees? Like, do you celebrate the first time you can fly? They've got one. They've got they one. Should. Puberty starts when you start getting your wings, and it ends when you can fucking fly. And then after that, they don't celebrate anything because it's a normal thing. But you know what? None he understands that. Wait, 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 wait. So you're in puberty the entire time you're waiting for your wings to fully grow? No wonder you're so grumpy. Jesus. No wonder her she's so horny and grumpy. That's basically it. <laughs> that Sorry, explains an awful note. lot. Uh, dear GM. Yes. Phone. Phone. Check your phone. Okay. Um, okay. Anything else you want to do? No. 
Um, I'm gonna ask to sit alone and just like perch over the edge of the tower and just spend the rest of the night like that. And then probably at dawn go back with him. Mm -hmm. Just sad. Just sad sitting. Won't we? I'm so won't we? I got no idea. Okay. Oh my own. All right. So we've got one more stinger scene with Ellie. Does anyone have anything else they want to do? Nope. Nope. Cool. Um, so Ellie, you spend your time uh hanging out with Weiss. Um, and eventually he has to go back to work. You walk back down, um, and you walk by, um, the, what do you call them? Where people make weapons and armor. That is called a forge. You walk by the forge. The forge. The forge. Oh um, my god. It's like Christmas for kids. It's like Christmas? Uh, it's see, like Christmas for kids. That's all she's looking at. Like, like a Sears Christmas catalog right now. <gasps> uh, so we see a woman uh, inside working away. She's got dark skin and long white hair like yours. Or long hair like yours. And uh, she is missing one of her legs. Uh, and it is Carmen, who you know from your tribe. Uh, when she sees you, she waves you over. Carmen, how are you today? I'll just, like, slowly saunter over. I need a favor. You need a f yes, favor. Yes, you, you owe me a favor, and I'm Out calling everyone, in my favor. I thought favor. you were best off. Well, I'm a little stuck here. Um, she gestures down to her leg. She's also wearing an ankle kind of cuff like you have but hers is actually tied to the forge like she cannot leave the like 30 feet where she is okay all right and and, and what uh-oh what do you do cut it off Sorry, what did you say? You cut it off? You're asking about her leg? No, but the, the thing on her. Like, me, like, Ellie is not surprised at all by it because she knows the brand on her leg. Yeah. Um... She says, look, I need you to get something out of the castle for me, and I need you to not ask questions or tell anyone about it. I know that he lets you out. So? And what makes you think I can do it? Look, you owe me a favor, oh, and it's the only choice I have, all right? So don't make it more than it is. Fine. I do this for you, and we're done. Not a word to any of your little friends, either. I don't care if you came from a village. Not a word to my friends. Yes. I need you to be private about this. You haven't even said a word to me. Private. All right, all right, private. Well, you I'll do, do the best I can. And tell no one. Agreed? Your word. You have my word. Um, okay. She reaches into this, her... This is it, Copper. Ellie! Fine. She reaches into her bag and she hands you uh, a piece of wrapped linen and a piece of paper with some words on it. 
It's an address. Bring this to that address. Bring this to that address? Mm-hmm. I thought I was supposed to be getting something for you. No, you're delivering it for me. Uh, all right. Common. And she, I'll, I'll leave. She, she watches you go. <laughs> Just safe keeping. Okay. And I'll head back to the castle where I assume that, what was the address? The, uh, the, was that address, the address? The address is in town. All right. Well, I'm not heading there alone. That's all I'll say. Okay. Do you look at what it is? I'll probably wait until I'm a couple streets over from her and then I'll take a peek. Okay. Uh, it is another glass key identical to the one that Atlas destroyed. And let's leave it at that for now. Okay. We'll come back and see what happens next oh week. Oh my god! The fuck is this glass key, man? Who knows? What? Okay. Oh my god! So, one thing we want to, we'll do uh, our check-in after, but for now, um, one thing I do in some other games is talk about what we want to see next time in this game. Um, so, I'm going to ask all the players, but also if you're in the chat, if there's anything you want to see, certain characters you want to see together, um, if you want to put them in a terrible situation, like you want to see Penny get let us know what would be fun to see, and I will do my best to incorporate it into the next game.